Um, so today I'm going to show you how to play fairly well on the acoustic guitar by the Indigo Girls. Um, a really lovely song from the album Swamp Orphelia. Um, let's start with the most important thing. You've got to play the guitar in the correct tuning, which means a drop D tuning for this song, meaning that both the E strings, the bass and top E strings, will be tuned down to a D, where everything else will stay in standard tuning A, D, G, B. So D, A, D, G, B, D, D. Oops. And so if you want to play it like the album, you'll put the capo up on the sixth fret. I'm going to do it on the third fret for this because I think it's a bit easier to see what I'm doing. And that's where I normally put it if I sing along, which I am not doing today. So uh, let's start with the chord shapes for the verse. So the first chord shape is like C, but we're taking our middle finger off. So fifth string, third fret, ring finger. First, uh, second string, first fret for index finger, everything else open. Then we move our ring finger down to the bass note. Everything else stays the same. Next one, we play the middle and ring fingers on the bass two strings on the second fret. And finally, we end up at an A minor shape here. Okay, that's it. Um, Picking pattern is relatively similar throughout the whole song. There are a couple of little changes in there. Um, the most important thing to realize is pretty much the whole song, our bass is playing between two different strings in a very metronomic way. Um, so that'll either be between the fifth and the fourth string, the sixth and the fourth string, or the sixth and the fifth string. So if I just play the thumb through this first part, you'll see what I mean. happens right throughout the whole thing so once you get used to this picking pattern um, it's gonna feel quite easy when you do the whole song what gives it the real frills is what's happening with the other two fingers um, now for all of this first part when you're playing the first note of each chord progression or each, sorry each chord position um, you're actually pinching two notes at the same time so with this first um, chord shape we're gonna play the fifth and second string together at the same time then we're going to be walking between the fifth and the fourth string with the thumb and we'll begin walking between the third and the second string with our index and uh, middle finger as you'll see very slowly five and two at the same time four and three five and two four and three all together Next one, we're going to be playing the um, bass and top string together, then four and two, bass and top, four and two open, so, and then we'll get to the next shape, we're just going to be playing on the bottom four strings here, so no pinching that time, just one, two, one, two to fifth and going from third to fourth. On the A minor shape we're going to hammer a hammer on at the index finger pinching together the fifth and second and then we're going to be playing the fourth string and then we're going to be pulling off there to play that top that second string again so all together and bass Second string, third, sorry, fourth, third. Oh, what's that? Like that. And for the next bit, we're going to play some different shapes here. So, uh, ring finger on the bass string on the third fret, middle finger on the third string on the second fret, and our picking pattern is um, from bass to second, and then from fourth to third. Slide it up to two frets. Same picking pattern. Same picking pattern again now, apart from the fact that our thumb's going to be going from fifth to fourth on the C shape. And then drop down to the one fret from your ring finger to your middle one on that fifth string. And that's the whole thing the whole way through. So I'll just play it slowly for you. The 
next time you'll play the whole thing through again, but this time when you go from here, we're now going to go to an A minor ninth shape. So it's like an A minor, but we're going to take our little finger up to the fourth fret on the third string, and we're going to play each of these for half as long as we've been playing every other chord, and we're going to be traveling down from the uh, fourth fret on that third string to the second fret to open and make sure we accentuate when we play that third string. Put it all together. But then onto the chorus, and our chords are as follows. It looks a bit like the C shape, but our ring finger is moved up a string to the fourth string, and we're going to be playing this whole picking pattern between the bass and the fourth, and the second and the third. Change shape, middle finger onto bass string, second fret. Up again, ring finger onto third fret bass string. Slow, slide the whole position up two frets. Next time we're going to play it through, but we're going to hold, we're not going to slide up. So all together, both of those um, lines of the chorus. Here we're going to move our tiny little finger onto the next fret up on the bass string. Ooh. And then we're going to go into the last bit, which I'll show you in a second. So I'll just play that last one through so you get the feel for it. play an A minor 7th but this time use your ring finger and your little finger because you're going to be sliding from here. Same picking pattern, so it's a pinch, slide up 2 frets, now slide up 3 frets and then we're going to place our other fingers on. So this is an unusual chord position, every finger is on a different fret and a different string. So going from the higher strings, we've got open at the top, then we've got our ring finger on the second string, this time on the sixth fret, correct? Our index finger on the third string on the fourth fret, our little finger on the fourth string on the seventh fret, and our middle finger on the fifth string on the fifth fret. And then we're going to just keep the same position, but this time moving our middle finger down to the bass string and playing this time between the bass and the fourth rather than the fifth and the fourth. So all together, So hopefully you got all of that, um, there's a few little chords, that little progression at the end is a little bit tricky on the hand, especially if you're not very good with your left hand, I'm more of a right hand person myself. Um, and um, but as I say, that picking pattern tends to kick in, um, there's a bit of few changes, but the overall movement of the fingers is quite the same. Appreciate it, if you've enjoyed this, you give me a thumbs up, otherwise I'm just gonna play through the whole thing um, now so you get the feel for it if you want to play it along.